Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Sopcore Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2, the retranslation. Forever and ever and ever! Or not. Uh, yep, we're through. It was a nice five second romance, but we're through. Well... No, it's not really that, it's just Ryu's kind of a immature guy, or something. <laughs> well... Oh, so they actually... Oh, that's different. Huh. Um, wouldn't that mean that I'd be kind of, you know, dead? Have at you. Didn't I say that last time? Anyway, Nimafu, who, well, she's kind of tough, but hopefully she won't p try to put the party to sleep. So, she doesn't have any particular weaknesses first off, so choose whichever whelp you like, or puppy, as they are in the original game. Unfortunately, I don't have full AP, so this is not going to do full damage. Probably around 200-ish. I don't know, Frost? Sure, why not? Nothing think I can do from Rand, so just attack, attack, and go... I don't have uh, my next spell yet, do I? Unfortunately, these never seem to work that well, so I'm not even going to bother with those. So we're just going to... Alright, go Lin! Well, she can do that too, but... Not too big a deal, since we can do a lot more damage than she can heal. She does have... what is it? 128 AP, so she can do spells pretty much indefinitely. Oh, a lot less than I was expecting. Never mind. Oh well, still a lot more damage than the rest of us are doing. But that's the end of my AP, unless I want to waste my Wisdom Fruit, which I don't. So, keep on going. Do something else. Might as well. You're a freaking witch! Why are you hitting me with physical attacks? Hey, Lin, should I heal you? You might not be able to survive a spell if she hits. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay, that would be really bad. I don't know. Either one, I don't care. Yeah, especially that one, which Nina happens to have a little bit of extra defense against with the armor she has, so... Ow! Everyone kind of needs to heal. I hope I don't get jolted again. Or else maybe I'll just finish her off. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, not too bad. Although, it would be really bad if she put us to sleep. Which she can do. Really? You look just like all the other li witches in the land. Seriously. No one but that hideous slimy toad. Hey, he's a frog, not a toad. Wait. That... You're over it just like that? Oh. Why didn't we think of that? Well, anyway. Oh, okay, that's what you said. So, uh, what do you two guys have to say, anyways? Uh, not really. I think in the original, they say something about her being lonely. Really? You say the same thing? Well, that's lame, but yeah, they say something about her being lonely. Anyway, we have to walk out of here, unfortunately, which I actually... Kind of need to heal up. Ooh, I don't really have enough to go around. Well, I wasn't expecting to be out already, but... Anyway, to get out of here... Uh, well, hang on a sec. Well, right here on the flow, just uh, floor... Uh, Nina's gonna get to the next level and learn her next spell, which I could have really used. 
the lightning spell, which does uh, a lot more damage than our other spells at the moment. I think has like a base power of 50 or so. But anyway, on this uh, floor just below the one we were on, all we gotta do to get out of here is walk off the edge here, and we somehow fall out of the sky <laughs> outside. But we're not exactly done in the Witch Tower just yet. I want to go back and heal up at the free healing spot. And uh, I'll meet you back on one of the uh, floors here on the Witch Tower. Alrighty. You'll remember this room that we were in. It's like the third floor. We want to now go all the way to the left side, finally. Because there's actually something to be had here now. Just a short little ways up. Do, 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 to this person here. You think? Uh huh. Sesso, the water shaman. Now she's got to go find Granny and Sanamo. She doesn't actually mention Sanamo in the original. Yeah, they kind of moved. But you already know that somehow, so... Anyway, uh, I'm going to... Well, we can't use the exit spell, but... Uh, let's go actually get Tapita out of his spell there. So, uh, I'll meet you back in the woods. Actually, never mind, I changed my mind. For a quick way out of the tower from here, once we get here, all we gotta do is just... Go on to either the second or third platform and fall off. Quick way down, and then we just go over here to this hole. And we almost land on kill that guy. And we're out of the tower. Nice and easy peasy. So, uh, now I'll meet you out in the woods. Alright. So. Yep. Easy as that. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got two with me, in fact, so, uh, let's see. We'll just save state there real quick. Let's have Nina do it first. Might as well see both of them, right? Sure, why not? Really? Never? Oh, maybe it's the situation you're referring to specifically. Uh... Alrighty. <laughs> Poor Nina. Alright, that's the end of that, so... Just because it's probably interesting, I think, uh... Well, I know it was more interesting in the original, so... Let's see what Lynn does instead. Yeah. <laughs> They're freaking out about it. Rand, how come you're above the tree there? Yeah, in the, in the original, she's like, it's just a kiss, right? <laughs> Wish you luck, uh... Okay, good luck. Ninja kiss! Or something. Wow, that's quite the spell. Are we blowing up another forest? Come on! <laughs> Wait, I, I don't think that was good enough. Gentle friends. Merci beaucoup. Granole? Hapa de Petapada. In the original, his name was Ekaru Hapa de Pejan. <laughs> Cause, uh, which I kind of liked a little better, but... Wait, what did he say? Fort Nagime... What did he say? I missed that. It's not called Simafort anymore, apparently. Uh, okay. So you were a frog all along, and she just turned you into a bigger frog? Right in the middle of the lake. You're a prince? Huh, of course you are. The royal welcome. 
as opposed to, what, the Royal Unwelcome? And Tepeda has joined the party! Uh, sure, why not? Let's see, Lin's at a high enough level, so... Ran, Nina, and freaking Tapita, who is... Actually, do I want Rain in the lead? Eh, why not? Who is really... Really weak! <laughs> right from the get-go. Uh, he's pretty much the weakest character in the game, and most hated as well, for good reason. He starts off a lot weaker than Nina. He's very slow, he has very bad stats to start off with. Uh, lower than most characters would be at this level e anyway. He actually has a pretty good stat growth, but he's not gonna show as a good character until like pretty much the end of the game. So uh, anyway... Yeah, he's actually... Yeah, he has really cruddy strength for what he is too, and he doesn't even have very good spells, which reminds me of something else. But meanwhile... While all this was going on, our carpenter friend's been busy! It's done! I like what one of the other carpenters says in the original. He says, Hey, stupid! I'm finished! <laughs> Alright, now Hido has turned into a town! But before we do anything with that, which reminds me, again, uh, I went the wrong way. With uh, Tapita, he comes with a spell that uh, boosts agility, or at least uh, I believe it does in this version. In the original game, this spell is bugged and doesn't do anything for you, which is kind of sad. So I'll actually be testing this out, seeing if it actually works later. But uh, anyway... Uh, Tapita's uh, on-world ability, or overworld ability, is when you press Y, you turn into a giant frog! And you can also croak with another button, but it doesn't do anything. And you can get around really easily all over the place. And also swim in the water, but we don't want to go over there just yet. Also, since we're taking extra hops, we're uh, less likely to get into random encounters as well. And we don't get into any random counters here in the water. But while we have uh, tap it up, we want to come up here and go down into the waterfall for a little secret. So you get a circlet, which is a good void sphere, which I believe is a good shield, isn't it? Isn't it? Or is it a... What is it? Oh, it's a... Yeah, it's a helmet. Never mind. Alright, that's a good one. I want to give that to Ryu because he's going to be in our party for a while. And then the uh, other thing, the void, whatever it was called, is a attack item which casts uh, a wind spell that was called Typhoon in the original. We'll want to save that for later. And rhymes with Rag and Sage. <laughs> so, uh, in other words, we need to talk to this guy with Ryu in the lead. Really? Oh, yeah? Godzilla? Actually, no, that was Rodan. But, anyway. Screw it and go back home. <laughs> sure. Anyway, do you see anything else? Oh, no. Yeah, you're the Dragon Sage. So anyway, he gives Ryu his next set of spells, the Dragon Spells! Uh, Flame, Frost, Electric. These are much more powerful than the Whelps. They still cost exactly the same. They still function the same way. But uh, they hit all monsters, and they do 500 points of damage. Now, in the original game... All three of these are bugged, and rather than being Flame, Frost, and Electric, they're all non-elemental spells. Uh, for at least one battle in the game, this could change things pretty drastically, since these are probably fixed, I assume, which I'll find out later as well. But uh, anyway, getting out of here... Let's see, since there's still some time, there's still one other thing I want to do, so I want to switch my party around a little bit, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so, 
I want to go into here, but first of all, I did a little test, and it looks like speed and uh, the dragon spells are still bugged, because I tried the electric dragon against uh, those catfish that are weak to lightning, and it didn't do any extra damage, and I tried getting speed on Ryu, but he wasn't faster than either Lin or Sten as a result or anything, so it doesn't appear that those have been uh, actually fixed. So, we're still going to treat them as bugged. Anyway, we want to do, we are, we're eventually going to be directed to come here uh, via the plot, but we want to come here a little early. And we want to follow everything these guys say. Alrighty. And what we've done is, I believe, yeah, we've put all our, we've given them all our items, but we'll give them back later. We want to read the signs as we go. Leave your hats and headgear. Do it! Okay. There's no random encounters in here. Coats and armor. And take your napkins. Okay. And we get napkins, and we're... Leaving our equipment behind, as you can see. Got a napkin now, which has a base defense of one, and I think a speed of zero, if I'm not mistaken, so. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Weapons and shields, and take our utensils and plates. Utensils? I think they were called forks in the original, so. Oh yeah, fork, plate. These all have a base, po base uh, uh, power of one, so we can kind of see our uh, base stats there, if you, in a way, which, we're not looking that impressive, are we? Now, if you want, you could ignore these signs and not follow them, but you'll have to fight someone here, which isn't very fun. But uh, among all these, you absolute... Oh, well, this one... I don't know if this does anything to you, rubbing salt and pepper on yourself, which is kind of odd, but... This, is, this next one is the one I was thinking of. But yeah, this one we absolutely want to look at. How would we like our meat cooked? We want it done rare. If you do not read this sign, it will automatically be well done. Which is bad. Because uh, of this room. Eh? Oh crap! Ow, 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 ow! Hot foot! Hey, isn't there like some thing where you're supposed to like walk on hot coals is like... You know, that with that, like, Tony Robin thing that he does? One of those weird overpriced seminars that he gives? Anyway, had we done well done, we would all be reduced to 1 HP right now, which would be really, really bad. Crying over spilt milk. Because... We have to fight this guy in our weakened state, but fortunately, we have the Dragon Spell, and by the way, our HP has been uh, reduced a little bit, although we can't quite see how much, but anyway, we definitely want to use, since you burnt us, how about we uh, burn you, since these are still bugged, and otherwise, everyone is, actually, do you have, yeah, let's show off some moon, why not, and since you can't do jack, you just defend, you suck, Tapita. I'm bringing you along because I want the experience points. Ow! That could have gone a lot worse. Oh, by the way, I was wrong about the Dragon Spells having a base power of 500. It's actually 512 for max AP there, so... Bam! Let's see, this guy, I think he has like 600 HP or something, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, go ahead and attack, why not? Get him, Len! Yeah, there we go. Lots of experience, stand reach level 12, that's good. Alright. Tough meat today. Desperation move? Hasta la vista! Ninja cook powers! Now, the reason that we want to do this is because, uh... If we do this now, before going to whatever that fort's called in this one, uh, Sima Fort in the original, we can get something special here. Now, I want to save state real quick. Yeah, you should be sorry. But, yeah, it's okay, we forgive you. 
Yeah. Absolutely. We did come to blows. But since we've been nice and we came here early before going to Simafort, he'll give us a secret power. Which only one of us can learn, though. He'll give us, uh... Hey. Oh. He'll give us a special ability. I'll just, uh... Put Stan in the lead real quick. Absolutely! And Julian, anything like a pro. And Stan learns Slice! <laughs> called Chop Chop in the original... Uh, game. This is a pretty good ability, costs no AP, and it does anywhere from 50 to 80 non-elemental unblockable damage. It, I think it's really good for Sten, just for the mid-game at least, because he's a bit, because he has the speed to make use of it, and he's a bit weaker for, than uh, Len. It's also pretty good for Tapita because it'll allow him to you know, actually do damage, period. And it's also pretty good for Nina because it's stronger than most everything else she has at the moment. In fact, I think it is stronger than everything else she has at the moment. And will also uh, allow her to uh, not have to use her AP as much. Although, there's another prize that we could also take here. Take note of our current HP, if you will, 91, 73, 79, 63. I can't believe it. I kind of forgot how to do this. I messed this up twice now. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So instead of doing it the other way, we want to say, Are you crazy? No, I don't understand. Never! Okay, okay. And as a token of his appreciation, he let us eat on the house. Just this once. It's like training in the mountains. Okay. I'll try it. And we cleaned our plates. And for that, our HP has increased by 16 points. Uh, so, which, uh, personally, I think is a little bit more useful in the long run than the Slice or Chop Chop spell. Uh, the Chop Chop spell is really useful uh, in, like, the mid-game, like, very useful, but then we don't really need it at the end. And even though this doesn't seem like much, uh, it is better in the long run, because it will help, uh, Lin in particular, and also Sten. It's particularly good for Lin, Sten, and Nina, since they all have the lowest HP, but I also think it's good for Tapita, who just flat out sucks for most of the game, or practically the entire game. So I'm gonna take the HP boost there. Come back any time, and... Flesh of the weak is the food of the strong! Yeah, he said, and he originally say, we, uh, cook or uh, we uh, serve the strong, or cook the weak and cook the strong, or something like that. I think he spontaneously combusted or something. No, that's different. Anyway, we're done with Wildcat Cafe. You do want to do that before going to Simmerfort once more. And, uh, let's, and I think it's about time for us to go and check out that town that we built us. So, uh, <laughs> there's a lot that's involved with that, so for the two of you who are looking for the hour-long special thing... <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it's not exactly special, but I'm gonna be doing some serious explanations, which is probably gonna take more than one video. And if it does, I'm gonna upload however many videos it takes all in the same day, so it's sort of gonna be like an hour-long special. So, we're gonna be visiting and explaining our town next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2, the retranslation. Arrivederci!